The fintech industry is ever increasing and it continues to explode even in 2022. Between COVID-19 and now a looming crisis in Europe, it has shone light on the need for financially innovative businesses in order to navigate the continually changing world. And to achieve this, businesses need to employ the best in order to stand out. And as it is an up and coming industry, it gives opportunities and prospects for job seekers. So here are the top 10 highest paid jobs in the fintech sector. These figures are based on the national average salary for the USA, but are closely aligned with other countries around the world. Intent is a cybersecurity expert or analyst. Due to widespread digital transformation, the need to protect data and digital assets has become a priority today. Moreover, financial services are always amongst the significant targets, as cyber criminals usually go where more money is concerned. Thus, the demand for cybersecurity experts is red hot in fintech. Firms incur higher costs in crime prevention, and the need for such professionals is expected to increase massively in the coming years. Cybersecurity specialists create and implement security audits across computer hardware and software systems. They make sure that the systems perform the way they are supposed to and that they are safe from attack. The average salary for a cybersecurity expert or analyst is around $77,000 a year, but can reach up to $160,000 a year. In ninth is a quantitative analyst. A quantitative analyst is a professional who uses quantitative methods to help companies make business and financial decisions. Investment banks, asset managers, hedge funds, private equity firms, and insurance companies all employ quantitative analysts, or quants, to help them identify profitable investment opportunities and manage risk. Quants are the people behind complex financial models, and as big data continues to rise, quants are becoming more important in fintech as they devise models that can sort through the massive amounts of data and automate them. The average salary for a quant analysis is $84,000 a year, but can reach up to $131,000 a year. Next is a full stack developer. A full stack developer is someone who works with the back end or server side of the applications, as well as the front end or client side. Full stack developers have to have skills in a wide variety of coding niches, from databases to graphic design and UI UX management in order to do their job well. Professionals equipped with the knowledge of front-end and back-end development, version control systems, coding skills, cloud and database skills, along with fluency in Python, Java, CSS, and other coding languages, can expect high-paying jobs with an average of $104,000 a year all the way up to $145,000 a year. Seventh is a blockchain expert. A certified blockchain specialist or expert is a person who has a thorough understanding of the technology. A blockchain expert is familiar with all blockchain platforms and programming languages. A blockchain expert is someone who has in-depth exposure to blockchain technology and is capable of creating blockchain models that meet the needs of the business. They have sound knowledge of blockchain technology with hands-on programming languages including consensus algorithms, smart contracts, blockchain use cases, and more. In this digital era, a certified blockchain specialist is responsible for maintaining a blockchain system that benefits the organization's goals, while protecting sensitive data from ever-increasing cyber threats, identifying and correcting flaws in the decentralized application, and eliminating the hazards associated with the company's record-keeping systems. The average salary of a blockchain expert is around $106,000 a year and can go all the way up to $150,000 a year. Sixth is a blockchain developer, which may sound the same as a blockchain expert, but they are different, as a blockchain developer is the one who builds blockchain solutions and decentralized applications using blockchain technology, just like the way web developers develop web apps. Right from analyzing business, they design, build, and launch blockchain networks. A blockchain developer is a person who is in charge of designing the blockchain system's architecture, as well as decentralized apps that use blockchain protocols. In addition, they work on the blockchain protocol architecture's applications. Blockchain developers are in charge of a blockchain application's whole life cycle. Furthermore, they are in charge of the entire application process, from research to execution. The importance of this in fintech is obvious, as blockchain and fintech are integral to one another. The national average salary is $110,000 a year and can reach all the way up to $175,000 a year. 
At the halfway mark, we have a financial software developer. A financial software developer is somebody who develops, modifies and updates software programs for the finance and banking industry. They work with a variety of different businesses to develop anything from financial education software to debit and credit card software. Financial software developers work in the growing fintech space, creating programs that meet the needs of financial institutions and end users. They can earn a national average salary of $120,000 per year, all the way up to $164,000 a year. In fourth, we have a Chief Financial Officer or CFO. The term Chief Financial Officer refers to a senior executive responsible for managing the financial actions of a company. The CFO's duties include tracking cash flow and financial planning, as well as analyzing the company's financial strengths and weaknesses and proposing corrective actions. The role of a CFO is similar to a treasurer or controller because they are responsible for managing the finance and accounting divisions and for ensuring that the company's financial reports are accurate and completed in a timely manner. The duties of a CFO are vast and include overseeing analysts and budgeting, making cost-related decisions about technology infrastructure and managing financial teams. The average salary in a fintech startup for a CFO is $130,000 per year, but as a business grows, they can earn up to $350,000 a year. In third, we have a product owner or manager. The product owner or technical product manager will work in a fast-paced, agile team to execute a product roadmap, bringing new products and functionality to the market for tier one banks, as well as small and medium fintech and payment brands. Product owners or managers are involved in a diverse set of roles and responsibilities to handle the product development life cycle, from design, architecture and development to when it reaches the ultimate audience. Product experts are responsible for maintaining a line of quality in fintech commodities. They understand user needs, monitor competitive trends, define the product's vision, prioritize product features, work with internal and external stakeholders and execute a shared vision and more. The average salary is $133,000 a year and can make it all the way up to $177,000 a year. Coming in second is cloud engineers and architects. A cloud engineer is an IT professional responsible for any technological duties associated with cloud computing, including design, planning, management, maintenance and support. A cloud architect is responsible for converting the technical requirements of a project into the architecture and design that will guide the final product. Often, cloud architects are responsible for bridging the gaps between complex business problems and solutions in the cloud. The average salary between cloud engineers and cloud architects is about $135,000 a year, with a high of $199,000 a year. Coming in in first spot may not have the highest average salary on this list, but because of the overwhelming need and annual increases of 13 to 15% in salaries, we see it as one of the highest paying careers in the future. And that would be data scientists. Data scientists are a new breed of analytical data experts who have the technical skills to solve complex problems and the curiosity to explore what problems need to be solved. They're part mathematician, part computer scientist and part trend spotter. And because they straddle both the IT and business worlds, they're highly sought after and well paid. They're also a sign of the times. Data scientists weren't on many radars a decade ago, but their sudden popularity reflects how businesses now think about big data. That overwhelming mass of unstructured information can no longer be ignored and forgotten. It's a virtual gold mine that helps boost revenue. As long as there's someone who digs in and unearths business insights that no one thought to look for before. Organizations are actively hiring data scientists with programming, data visualization and machine learning skills to assist them in making data-driven decisions. They differ from quantitative analysts as quantitative analysts tend to focus on more specialized problems, especially around finance. Data scientists rely more heavily on their coding skills to build frameworks and automation systems. Data scientists typically work on a broader array of projects. Data science is the backbone that allows FinTech to build quicker and more precise credit risk decision processes than could ever have been imagined in traditional institutions. In view of this huge demand, data scientists can look to earn a base salary that is around 36% higher than most professionals in the analytics industry. The average salary for a data scientist at the moment is $95,000 a year, ranging all the way up to $195,000 a year. 
With so many career choices available and with very strong hiring trends for candidates with digital skills, 2022 promises to be an excellent year for those with the right skill set. Enrolling in the right certifications and skills training will definitely help job seekers power ahead in their careers and transition into high growth opportunities. Are you involved or interested in going into any of these careers? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button so not to miss out on more.